Hello everyone, welcome back. Unfortunately, it's not good news. He is a dead end. He's a fucking goner. It's the, uh, it's the bite. The bite's gonna do him in. He was doing alright, but then... As soon as I went to bed, yeah, it all went tits up. So, he's fucked, basically. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is... I, I will carry on with this map, but just the once more. It's purely because it was such a stupid thing. It wasn't like he was in combat with a thousand fucking zombies and then got bit or something. It was literally, I was cutting down trees, didn't pay attention enough, and a fucking zombie come up behind him and fucking did him in. Which was annoying because previously when I've been doing gathering all this wood. He's been totally fine, but a zombie's clearly migrated up here um, at some point. <clears throat> yeah, and yeah, so he's fucked. So, the issue I have now is uh, with the next character, he's not going to start over here. He'll start over here. So I've got to get him from here to over here, which isn't going to be as easy as it was originally because of all the cars that's in the way and the way I got here before was going over what will be now overgrown f fucking edges so I think his last my character's last sort of thing will be pretty much he's going to have to try and get a car back down as close as he can to where the other guy will start I'm planning to hopefully park it. I think he should be alright pretty much up to around here, I think, on that bend. So if I could park a car over here, I could just get the guy out there and run him around. But yeah, it's a bit of a fucking piss take. It's so annoying. It's so fucking annoying. So I've took all this shit off. Except for the stuff I don't really care about him losing. Um, like I say, he's fucked anyway, so it don't really matter. It's so fucking annoying. But yeah, I've topped up my generator, so hopefully everything will still be intact. Uh, like the power will still be on and all that when I get back with the new guy. So yeah, it's a bit of a shit on. I might take a... I don't want to take any of my guns, I don't want to waste them piss-assing about uh, on a stupid dead man's fucking calls. I might take a Molotov, just in case I want to burn myself up. <laughs> I don't know, I'll take some cereal, because you will probably need to eat. Um, may as well leave the hammer and all that shit. May as well leave most of the sterilised bandages, he's not going to fucking need them now. Water bottle I'll take, yeah. Um, I'll leave my watch, because I can't be fucked to reprogram all that bollocks. This is all stuff I've got plenty of anyway. Yeah, so that's uh, kicking the rollocks. Just get this out of the way. I was just thinking I might just quit and start again, but I don't know. I'd end up doing exactly what I've done now again, and it's just... If I'm going to just do again what I have did now, then I may as well carry on with this one, if that makes sense. I fucking hate it. I'll take one of these. I need to go get a lighter. I don't know where I stuck it. I took all this shit off, like, uh, what's the point? keeping it on him, if you know what I mean. If he does just die now, then it'd be a hassle. So I need to try and find where I put a lighter. Um, here we go, I'll just take a lighter. So I need to get a, a car that's been hot-wired, which I 
or a car and just leave the keys in anyway. It's just not a big deal. Uh, yeah, hot wire the case. I'll take this one. Give it some more fuel. Yeah, such a piss take. The amount of swear words I said. Oh, it's a good job I went recording, to be honest. For the amount of stuff I said. And by said, I mean screamed. And I spent like five minutes hitting the fucking zombie over and over and over again. Just because I was like, you fucking bastard. Which probably cost me a bit of time in healing him, but once you're bit, it's such a, if there is a chance, it's going to be like a 1% chance, and it ain't going to fucking... But yeah, he was doing so fine, and suddenly he was like, oh, he's queasy, and I was like, oh, I know what that means. And then he started getting all nervous, and I was like, oh, great, I know what this means. It's the beginning of the end. So yeah, I just need to get a car. I mean, it's going to be a bastard trying to start as the new guy anyway, because... Yeah, yeah, it's just gonna be it's gonna be interesting. But as long as I can get a car far enough down there so I can get back here, it should be alright. So yeah, that was uh that was fun. See they keep fucking it's only a couple of them, but they migrate up here. Where was he? It was one of these fuckers. But yeah, that's that's part of Project Zomboid. It's inevitable. I mean, you're gonna die at some point. But I'd rather he went out in a better way than that. Right. So. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got much to say. I'm so pissed off still that I'm a bit like, ugh. I don't mind dying as part of games, but um, it's just the way the way you die in games pisses me off. Up. I don't know if there's any point. I know what's going to happen, so... Just need to try and get back as far as I can. And keep the car intact as much as I can as well. Ay, 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 ay.
quickly see if these guys got a watch on them. Yeah, he's got a watch, that's good. So annoying. Cause like I finally got the finally got him like his weight going up and he's overweight for the first time and I was like, ooh shit's going well. Gonna go grab some wood so I can shut up. Like, cause, cause I was doing shit on my base and I was like, ooh, I'll get some wood. Then when I start the next video, or come the next video, I was gonna either in the morning or in the evening show you sort of what I've been doing. Um, yeah, so I was like, I'll go get some wood, get it all stockpiled because it takes enough time to get the fucking wood anyway. And yeah, I don't know, I just must have drifted off, I don't know zoned out when I was fucking cutting down trees because I've been so safe up there for so long I think it's cost me in the long run that's my own fault I mean fucking hell who in their right mind gets comfortable in a fucking zombie apocalypse <laughs> this guy here hello and then immediately regrets it once he gets bitten I can't see it, but I'm constantly shaking my head in disappointment. <laughs> so we'll just say for now that he's got a brother, he's his twin brother. I don't in real life have a brother, but... In the game, I have a brother, so. But, uh, we'll just say that I've got a brother. And hopefully, he won't be as stupid. But yeah, if he, if he does, if the next guy dies, which he will eventually, but hopefully. Well, hopefully, he won't die, but. It is. With the, without I've been playing this game, it's only a matter of time till I fucking set myself on fire anyway, but, you know. Uh, once he does end up dying, I'll, uh, I'll call it. I should probably get that trailer while I'm here, but... to where it needs to be. I didn't bring any weapons with me, which is probably stupid. I probably should have bought at least a weapon. Could have tried to hotwire some of these cars. see how much it's overgrown. I'd have thought it would have overgrown a bit by now, but it doesn't look like it actually has, so it might have been alright. But at least I'll have a car for the next guy anyway, so if I do take this down there. here and then I'll just I don't know this 
this is when it turns out I'm actually fine. <laughs> but I know I'm not. As long as I get past all of this, even if I gotta walk past it all and just run over to the car with the new character, it's fine. It's not a big deal. I'd love for him to not be dying, but I'm pretty certain he is. Because his health is slowly going down. And this is all all stuff that's happened before when he's been bitten and then died from infection. <clears throat> so I get the feeling he is on his way out. Ideally, I could find another car and hotwire it ready for the next guy, but I'd need a weapon ready for that so I could smash the window. I think that's not a, vi a viable weapon then. Although I'm pretty sure you could smash a window with a fucking lug wrench, but you know, what do I know? Piss take. Least of his fucking worries is a bleeding hand though at this point.
take some painkillers, fuck it. I forgot how far away it was. It's been so long since they've been over this side. Fuck off, zombies. So what I'll probably do is upload two shorter videos. Well, it depends how long it takes me to fucking get over there on the on the same day, like the end of this guy and then the start of the next guy. If not, it'd be two hour-long videos. It depends because obviously it's an hour per day. But I don't think he's gonna last till tonight, so. Might be like a shorter video and then a full video after with the new guy.
but I'll put them both out on the same day because yeah, it's a bit depressing way to leave it. I'm just hoping I can find a card I can hotwire. Because the other, the new guy is going to have a bit of an issue trying to find a car, I'd have thought. Because it's a bit of a bastard finding a car originally for this guy. And then when it's many zombies, there's probably going to be so many zombies, it's going to be a bloody nightmare. So ideally I'd have a car ready. Ideally, but... The other issue is when you carry on, it carries on pretty much from the same time, so it might even add a couple of hours, but it'll probably be bloody night time when I'm trying to get over there. But we shall see. His health isn't going down as quick as it used to, like the last time I got infected, it went down pretty, it is going down, but it was going down a bit quicker, so I don't know, I don't know, but I think he is, like, a lot, um, he's overweight, whereas usually my characters are underweight, so that might have something to do with it. bandage on that or do I save it for the fucking oh, I don't know fuck it I'll stick it on there if I need to I'll take it off of there and put it on there Part of me still holding out hope that he's going to be alright, but this is fucking stupid. Should I remove? No, I won't remove that. Can't see. <laughs>
just to see fucking hot word the van. <laughs> gotta see if he's got any fucking fuel in it. No. Well, this is it guys. <laughs> this is the end of him. He is fucked. Come on. Where's the Oh he's dropped his Molotov. Shit. Oh, what a bugger. <laughs> Can't even send him out in a blaze of glory. Oh, shit. He ain't gonna get it. Cool. I just want to get to the... get to the Molotov, really. Come on, mate, pick it up a bit quicker. We're all gonna burn together, motherfucker. Right, well there you go, lads, <laughs> lads and ladies. That was that was how he died, <laughs> horrifically. Right, I'm gonna quickly start again. I'll do the same person as it was last time, just because it's easier. Right, I'm gonna stop it here.